I am your host Chiseled. Let's get right into the news. So our first story comes from Creecraft. If you don't know there's been a hurricane going around called Laura. This is super bad and it just sucks for everyone. Creecraft actually got hit with this hurricane and that's the reason he isn't streaming and uploading at this time. He tweeted out this, my phone's at 2%. Still no power so no video, in the morning, see you all on the flip side moved all the way from Florida and a hurricane still got me lol. He also put out this Twitter voice video which is a little jokey. This is Creecraft Audio Log 57. Day 1, hour 18, without electricity and internet. Our Pop-Tart supply is running low, and our Chick-fil-A has been completely eaten. We have Hardly any batteries left. I've not taken a shower in the three weeks, and my feet smell really bad. I feel like we're not going to make it to 6 a.m., and our power is going to gonna run out. If Freddy Fazbear gets me, I just want everyone to know that my secret Robux code for 50,000 Robux is A, seven, five, B, three, seven, four, five, two, D. Creecraft out. So yeah, sad stuff from Hurricane Laura. My prayers go out to anyone that was affected. Our next story comes from the popular YouTuber Russo Plays he put out this scary tweet, so we just had a small kitchen fire, everyone is completely fine and Meg saved us all with flour but I just wanted to share this traumatic experience lol. He also responded saying, also don't use flour to put out fires we're dumb but honestly we don't have anything else lol we're getting a fire extinguisher for the future. Wow. Luckily Russo and his family are safe and the damages aren't too bad. Our next story comes from the Roblox Game Tower Defense Simulator, that had a huge live event and with that they release a hardcore mode. Now this mode was a mess and the team came out with an apology, if you want to skip past this part here is the timestamp on screen, the entire team is extremely sorry for the hardcore mode release fiasco. We did not anticipate the massive amount of bugs that occurred. We will come out with a more professional statement tomorrow. This does not mean you don't get to the TDS. For now, we are creating an open test for the update. Your stats will transfer over from the main place, but it won't transfer from the debug place. Once again, we are extremely sorry for the amount of fans we let down. The main game has been reverted with a button to opt into the test. The whole team hopes that you find this solution satisfying for now. We will follow up with more information soon. Thank you. Speaking of Roblox games our next story is from Bubblegum Simulator, they will be taking a break. Roblox RTC tweeted out this, news, Bubblegum Simulator developers are taking a break from the game. By working on other projects, they will be able to spread their energy easier and have a healthier mentality. Updates for the game are going to slow down, however, they are said to still be quality. Ok, our final story comes from Minitoon aka the creator of Roblox Piggy. He tweeted out some powerful stuff that got an amazing response from the community. He said, Ahoy, everyone. Just a random thought I had while looking at a rainbow. Being LGBTQ plus isn't a choice, it's a chance. A chance to either hide who you are or express yourself to the world, regardless of what others may think of you. Never be afraid to show your true colors. We are who we are, we are born this way. Whether you're dark-skinned, light-skinned, human or mini tune, I'm an alien, you are still a living being who has the natural right to be yourself. We've got one life, so make sure to live it your way, and really make it your own. Wow very nice and powerful words from Minitune. That will conclude today's episode. 
Please subscribe, like and share the video for more news. I'll see you guys in the next one.